Hello, dear friends. A low frequency brother and sisters deserve respect too, if they respect us. Opinion piece. Light burns them. Forgiveness offends them. Love disturbs them. Ascension disturbs them. The fate of darkness is not divine judgment or punishment. The door is open now. It's only the physics of this universe. Lawrence of Arabia talked about it. It's time to remember who we are. The Godfather represents a dark being. Joy is pain for the low frequency. Earth is meant to be a paradise. Refusal to love is refusal to accept freedom. There will be an end to the harshness of life in this world. Divine justice returns to us again. Let's start. The lives of dark beings are being disrupted by a gradual ascension. Just a small ship would be disrupted by the other toe of a larger one, says Steve Biko. As Matthew Ward once said, ascension depends on the amount of love assimilated. That is the ticket to trouble. To refuse to love is to refuse to accept the offered gift, gift of the alignment, Buddhahood, Nirvana, Moksha, liberation from the cycle of birth and death. But it is also a decision that is accepted out of respect for free will but not allowed to interfere with the contrary decision of other beings. No one better than the character in the film The Godfather, directed by Francis Ford Coppola in 1972, to show the identity of a dark being, starring Marlon Brando and Al Pacino as the leaders of a powerful fictional New York, New York crime family. The story set from 1945 to 1955 chronicles the Corleone family led by Vito Corleone focusing on the character of Michael Corleone and this and his transformation from a reluctant young young man oblivious to family affairs to a ruthless Italian American mob boss it was the highest grossing film ever made grossing $245 million to $286 million again. Question of frequencies. A low frequency being cannot withstand the high frequency that floods the planet. Those who love are ascending, but those who have opposed love stay where they are. It is simply a matter of frequency. I believe that the dark forces will find themselves in increasing trouble, feeling that their life has no purpose or meaning. Their situation may be analogous to that of travelers in the afterlife who attempt to go to higher realms than their level of evolution allows. Earth, with these diver diverging timelines, becoming less hospitable to the dark ones, resembles a higher realm that proves in hospitable to a traveler venturing upwards into the inner planes. Testimonies. In his memories, in his memoirs, Lawrence of Arabia says, in quotes, if a human being were to try to live in that rarefied spiritual air, which still carried, carries in his being the full stains on, of the earth, his sufferings would be terrible as intense as the joy of which he would be capable when cleansed of them. Mother Florence mentions that the intense light is to her. In quotes, I don't think I can endure for long the intense light and glory of these higher planes. My soul is not yet strong enough. Mike Swain points out the same characteristic. In quotes, the worlds above us are even richer in light and bliss. If I go up there, I find it too bright. The light hurts my eyes, and the frequencies are so refined that they cannot respond to them. 
So I turned back and returned to this well, which suits me very well. Harry Dot reported that if one tries to go higher, one can end up in a dream state, even losing consciousness. In quotes again. One cannot rise much higher because one loses consciousness. Accompanied by someone more developed, one can go higher. But if one goes much higher than one's own consciousness, a dream-like state ensues, and nothing registers clearly. It was taken traveling in this way, so that I understood this. Each in his place. This applies to the situation of duck pins. As the frequency increases, their refusal to accept love probably causes them similar or equivalent effects to those described by our correspondents in the afterlife. It is my understanding that the round of life for the duck ones will remain much the same. They will go where they have always gone, to the duck plains, and reincarnate in other nightmarish three-dimensional worlds. Keep in mind always that no nuclear weapon can explode in space, and that our heavenly protectors will not allow any fla false flag operation on the scale 9-11. The duck has weapons, but the galactics are empowered to stop, neutralize or mitigate them, as they have done so many times in silence. The duck ones will live as the love a light increases because they will not be able to take it. That may sound harsh, but it is not divine judgment or punishment. It is simply the physics governing life in this universe that bodies deprived of life cannot survive in those higher frequencies. Messages Saint Germain by Caroline Oceana Ryan Earth is in a place of unprecedented transition for three-dimensional planet. So, while you joyfully prepare to receive your many beautiful provisions, you are still in a physical world that seems to be stuck in many ways in the old order. Yes, you, you still have to feed the children, sweep the floor, go to work and try to stay as healthy as possible. All while exercising your fifth dimensional rights and preferences to live a divinely directed life of increasing inner awareness and the rising frequency, remembering, meditating, being in nature, spending, spending quiet time each day where you just rest and relax, and forgiving yourself for any weakness as you follow the path. All these requirements of the new earth will feel heavy at times, and so it comes at a as a great relief to think of the enactment and all that will follow, including meeting your star family. Lost Paradise Earth was meant to be a paradise, not a place of suffering, loss and degradation. Yet humankind choose duality as a bold experiment to, to achieve greater growth through extreme adversity in the physical. Within that experiment was always the seed, the germination of liberation for a planet that had been lost over millennia. Humankind had opened a great portal that not only gave humans the opportunity to grow in an environment of, of adversity and resilience. Through that portal came energies and beings that no peaceful world should, should ever tolerate. Yet you tolerated it. Chaos accumulated on the planet to the point where it became impossible to reverse the situation without violating the universal law of allowing each civilization to develop without the intervention of other more evolved groups, except in certain very extreme cases such as now. And so, a surpass entered with the intention of eliminating the freedom of humankind, what are now called human rights, that never needed to be defended before the fall into the third dimension. Adventure. On the other hand, 
the harsh, the harshness of life on earth had the potential to catapult a young soul far beyond its current level of expansion and self-knowledge, for you as a species of beings have always loved an adventure, new territory to explore, new concepts to understand, and so it went for millennia. And what did is stopping him now? Several things. The danger in which the earth currently finds itself and his own soul's cry for help throughout the universe. His own determination to protect himself and humankind from being overtaken by the implantation of artificial intelligence. Another sign that the experiment has gone too far. And the coming of the Satya Yuga, a new era in which divine justice returns once again to earth and the other parts of the universe. With peace and prosperity at the door, your own weary souls and lives on earth, evolving and ascending, are realizing that it is time to wake up. It is time to remember who we are, divinity in humankind form. It's time to stand up and reclaim our true power and forever release the victim identity and its struggles. This age-old tendency to see life as difficult turned death into both a prison and a slave planet. This is now a conundrum for humankind. Since they fall into the fifth dimension, they have never seen themselves as the magicians they are. Of the higher realms, when they leave an earth body and return to etheric form. However, those properties remain within you and call to you now, asking you to remember. Remember the elements of this universe, which combined with your own inner mastery, can create or transform worlds. The door is open now. The energies required are present. Step forward and declare your creator status. Divine Intervention Saint Germain through James McConnell There are those, of course, who are trying to hold you back to stop you, but they know they cannot stop you any longer. So they only approach those who have not yet awakened, trying to keep them in their cause under their control. But they know they can't do that for much longer either. All you have to worry about is moving on and letting go of all those illusory understandings of the past, those fears, those hate, hatreds, those jealousies, all those things that have held you in the illusion, have held you in the three-dimensional matrix until this moment, but no longer. There are many who will not awaken unless they are released and shaken, and they will not step into their freedom until they fully realize that they have not been free. They do not understand that as you understand it. They think they are free, but deep down they realize that they are not, and they think there is nothing they can do about it. But in fact they can, and in fact you can, and in fact we can. As things continue to move forward, there will be times when we will interfere more and more. When I say we, I speak of all the forces of light, the Earth Alliance, the galactic forces, all coming together on this and ready to step forward. And there are times coming when this can happen. We have been asked to step forward more and more. And the more you ask, the more we can do it. And the more we see that toes of the, all over the planet are not waking up in time, then we can begin to intervene more as well, because they cannot do in their own. Again, they need something to set them free. And that's what is and that's what this is all about. Freedom for every country on the planet. All living beings all over the planet are coming together once again as it was meant to be and as it will be whether they wake up alone like you or need something more special that time is coming fortunately thanks a lot dear friends